Very excited to catch up with Todd Durkin, best known maybe as a football player at Brick High School in the late 80s, but a lot more since. So I, I want I want to go back just a little bit with you. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, best known to a lot of people around here, certainly in the Brick community in the late 80s as an outstanding athlete at Brick High School, and then on to William & Mary. And if you could give us the Reader's Digest version, how do you go from there to where you are now? Man, just a lot of hard work, Kevin. It's been... Uh... It's been quite a quite a journey going from William Mary. I went overseas and played ball for several years, and uh, it was there that I suffered a serious back injury. And um, and after that injury, I went down my own own kind of journey to heal my own back pain, and that that just led me to really finding and discovering my passion and my purpose. And uh, in year two thousand, I opened up my gym, Fitness Quest Ten in San Diego. Started as a real small studio, one man show, and it, it, it's grown ever since. We now have a, uh, a great team of 38 uh, employees. We've got quite a, quite, a, uh, quite a great thing going on out here, and it's just been an awesome ride. I'm blessed every day to do what I do and change lives. And uh, A lot of people think I just train a lot of pro athletes, and although I do that, uh, we have a lot of everyday fitness enthusiasts and weekend warriors and moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and kids coming in because they want to change their life they want to get better they want to feel better they want to look better and uh, they want their life to be better and you know i know from following you on twitter and through other social media you do a lot of traveling a lot of speaking you've you've written uh quite a few things uh so you know that is all taken on almost a life of its own for you you're not just a guy that's in the gym monday through friday this is kind of like a seven-day thing for you yeah no it it is. I, I wear a lot of hats, that's for sure. I mean, besides being married and having three kids, which, you know, I'm, I'm trying to coach my kids when I'm home and all, but I am on the road about 40 times a year. I'm doing a lot of motivational speaking. Uh, I wrote my book a few years back, and that's done really well. Uh, it's called The Impact Body Plan, and that's like a 10-week program. And then a lot of my speaking now within the fitness industry, um, I'm speaking at coaches' conferences, fitness conferences, uh, as well as private companies that will bring me in and uh, do motivational talks. Um, I spend a a fair amount of time on the road, and I love that opportunity to to get up in front of people and try to change their mindset and and, uh, instill some great habits in them. So, yeah, it's it's many hats I wear between my gym and and then, of course, all the speaking and and appearances I'm doing. It's uh, it's awesome. Before we talk about the exciting thing that's happening uh, for you this week, uh, and uh, we'll reintroduce a lot of people in the Shore area who might be maybe wondered what happened to Todd Durkin, I do want to ask you, I know you mentioned you work with several pro athletes, and that's not all you do, but obviously that has certainly helped establish your credibility. How does that happen? How do you all of a sudden become the personal trainer and kind of fitness guru, especially for a lot of NFL guys like Drew Brees? Yeah, you know, again, it is a lot of hard work, but, uh, you know, when I, when I suffered a serious back injury playing football overseas, uh, and I, I tried to heal my own back pain without that surgery, uh, I learned a lot of techniques. I traveled the world and, and sought out gurus that could help me. And what I was really doing which, without me knowing at the time was I was learning the craft of, even though I had my degree from, from William & Mary in kinesiology and I had been to massage therapy school, uh, that was all part of the plan, um, I guess, in God's plan to, to say, okay, you're going to use this. Because in 2002, two years after I opened up my gym, I became the sports massage therapist of the San Diego Chargers. And then that's where I met Ladaney and Tomlinson, the first-round pick of the Chargers. And uh, LT and I started training together. I was doing all his body work. And then just a few months later, um, he brought in Drew Brees, his quarterback at the time of the Chargers. And I ended up training Ladanian for nine years before he moved over to the Jets and and then, uh, of course, now I just literally got done before this interview today uh, training Drew Brees. He's been 13 years now uh, with Drew. And, uh, you know, the list goes on and on of, of uh, you know, the, the, the athletes that I work with. So you, some people think it might be luck, but it actually is a lot of hard work. And going back until I, I you know, injured my own self and went down that healing, I have some skill sets that, that uh, the pro athletes really like because, you know, if they see results in one guy, all those athletes want to do – what the, the guys they emulate uh, do. So I've been real fortunate in that regard. 
I would be remiss if I didn't ask you, and I know your family is spread all across the country. Your sister is still in Ocean County. I think your brother and you got folks in Florida. But obviously, uh, uh, Brick, New Jersey was a very important place to you growing up and playing football for the legendary Warren Wolf. So I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you if any of those values that you learned playing for the Green Dragons for Coach Wolf are things you still use in your life today. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, honestly, everything I do is it's because of my upbringing back in Brick. Uh, from the time I was a young kid uh, back in Brick, growing up playing soccer, football, basketball, baseball, competing across the Shore Conference, uh, man, what a great place to grow up and to have values. Um, I still try to take the family back there to, in the summers to uh, get exposed to the Jersey Shore. But, uh, you know, when I was a kid, five years old, I always dreamt of playing for Coach Wolf. And, um, he ended up being a, a just a huge, huge influence and mentor in my life. And uh, all of the things I learned from Coach Wolf and the, and the, uh, the coaching staff at Brick, the Donovan Browns of the world, the people that you know are just incredible coaches, incredible human beings that sacrifice and commit so much uh, to not only the game of football but to the community, to Brick. Um, I, I saw something at a young age, at you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, that that, uh, man, I wanted to be special. I wanted to, to make my town proud. And although I went away to college and then, you know, through the journey of life, uh, settled out here in San Diego, I, it is on a weekly basis. And I can say that without doubt. With a weekly basis, I check in and find out what's going on back there. I'll still read the papers online and, and uh, see what the, what the Green Dragons are doing in sports. And I'll check in with, you know, Billy Kleiser, who's one of the principals over there at Brick High School now. And, some of the coaches I know who I played with are now, you know, coaching over there. So, um, Kevin, it is, it really is a special thing that I, when I look back at my roots, um, I just, just the foundation that was laid at a young age. And, uh, I've been blessed to, to have so many great coaches and mentors in my life, none bigger than coach Wolf. All right, so now you're a mentor because I'm sure some people, many people have seen the commercials for a new show that will premiere on NBC on both Wednesday and Thursday night. The name of the show is Strong. It's described as 10 of America's best personal trainers work with people ready to fulfill their potential. Todd Durkin is one of the 10. So A, question A is, how did you get to pick to be one of the 10? And B, tell us what the show is about. Yeah. Uh, I got a call last year about a new show starting up uh, called Strong, and and uh, they told me about the the whole idea of it. The funny thing is, was they didn't tell me in the beginning that I would be competing. They told me that I would be coaching another gal to greatness, and um, I was like, well, that that's something I do every day. So uh, yes, you know, keep talking to me. Well, what it ended up being was far different than what I expected it to be because I thought I was going there to coach a gal and change her life and get her ready to compete and then, you know, see what we could do as a team. And it ended up being uh, my partner and I competed 50-50 in every competition. And each week uh, a team is sent home based on a challenge that, that, you know, several challenges that we do in that week. And you'll see starting this Wednesday, April 13th, um, just how crazy it is. I mean, it is intense. Uh, It is the, the challenges are, unlike anything that I've ever seen or done. I haven't competed at like this in over 20 years. I mean, I am the oldest trainer on the show. Um, I have coached many of these trainers uh, on the show. Most of the trainers call me coach. They don't know. They don't call me Todd because I coach most of them. And um, it was a real honor. It was a real honor to be on the show and, and to represent. Uh, and it, that's how it started. And it was quite a journey, Kevin. It was a really special time. I've seen the trailer. Uh, it looks wild. I've seen you in it. Uh, as you mentioned, you are the oldest at age 44, which I guess for that is is a little bit up there. Now, you are matched, all of you are matched with females. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And I guess when yep. you started out, they weren't necessarily in the best of shape. No, they definitely weren't in the best of shape. Uh, I had a girl from Boston. Uh, Devin Cassidy is my partner. And uh, man, love the girl. She was awesome. She started out uh, and she was in a, a rough place in her life. And you're going to see this on Wednesday night. Um, you know, she hadn't worked out in a long time. She was about 40 pounds overweight, was never really an athlete. And, uh, you know, I think she played softball at the JV level, but she wanted to change her life around and she wasn't real happy with life. And, uh, I was fortunate enough to be paired with her because 
Now, I'm a motivational guy. I'm a mindset guy. I don't just train people physically. I get in their mind. I get in their spirit, and I try to change them. And uh, Devin needed that at, at that point in her life. And um, most importantly, I had to also get her ready to compete. I had to change her body. I had to change her mind. And I had to get her ready to compete for these challenges that we'd never seen before. And she wasn't used to performing at a high level. So I had to try to break out every trick of the trade I've ever used in my life with all the pro athletes. Use it on Devin and uh, try to work some brick magic once again. <laughs> now, I know this show has actually already been recorded. You did this, I believe, back in the fall. So what we see on Wednesday and Thursday has obviously taken place a while ago. And I guess like in the case of most, let's call them reality shows, you're kind of sworn to secrecy, right? No, I can tell you everything that happened. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I wish I could, but you got to tune in. Uh, and I would love all the Jersey Shore folks to, to certainly uh, – Tweet, tweet me up. I always talk about Jersey strong. Well, now you could put, you know, Jersey strong, Durkin strong, Shore strong, uh, whatever you want to do. But uh, I am certainly hoping uh, that the, the Jersey Shore is going to represent. And uh, I think I made the Shore proud. And I think uh, all of Brick and, and beyond uh, is going to really like what they see. Uh, it's a great show. It really is. And here's why it's great. In the show, it's not just about weight loss. And the executive producer, Dave Broom, who also created The Biggest Loser, a great show, um, that show is just about weight loss. And this is not. It's about being strong physically and mentally. And um, uh, Sylvester Stallone was one of the other producers. I had a chance to meet Sly and, and spend a little time with him, which is, you know, Kevin, I remember running up and down the streets uh, back, you know, off Princeton Avenue and Brick and like ice storms and snowstorms listening to the Rocky Four soundtrack in the <laughs> 80s. And uh, uh, there's not a person on the planet that's watched more Rockies than I have. So to get to meet Sly and, and uh, know that this show is produced by him was even more special. But uh, it, it was a great, great show. And I, I was really proud to be a part of it. I'm excited about uh, this week. And it's going to be great. I actually just uh, found out some news. I'm also going to be uh, coming back that way uh, to appear on Dr. Oz on Thursday. So we got a big appearance back there in New York City. So a lot going on, my friend. So uh, Strong, again, premieres Wednesday night at 9 p.m. on NBC. And again, or, and then Thursday night at 8 o'clock, uh, two premieres this week. Look for Todd Durkin. Uh, he's the good-looking guy, still looks great, in phenomenal shape, uh, uh, blondish hair. Uh, uh, you can check him out, of course, and, uh, and follow him along the way. Todd, I can't tell you how exciting it has been to, to catch up with you. It's been a long time. And as I said, I'm not the least bit surprised you have made your family and your old community proud with what you've done, and I wish you and your family nothing but the best. Well, Kevin, thank you so much, and all the, the folks back at the shore, thank you for your support, and uh, it really is great to, to uh, talk to you, Kevin, and what you've done for so many years back there at the shore for, for all the athletic teams across the, the conference and, and in that community. Uh, we sure are blessed to have uh, someone like yourself that does such amazing coverage back there. So uh, if you're listening today, thank you. I will represent the best I can. Keep watching the show. It is an amazing show. Just keep tuning in and, and uh, following your guy here. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. Hope to catch up with you again real soon. Sounds good, Kevin. Thanks so much.